Slipendo! Slipendo! Late again, you lazy boy. A further three points from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. The other students are off to the Halloween feast. Join them, if you must. Harry! A huge troll is on the rampage! It's cornered Hermione in the girls' toilets! She needs our help! We must try to rescue her straight away! Harry, what's that smell? Slip 
Thanks for saving me. Is he dead? I think he's just been knocked out. Come on, let's get out of here. Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Up! Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw! Let's play Quidditch! A glint of gold? Is that the snitch? Here comes the plunger! Here comes Potter! No! The snitch got away! Oh! I've never seen such flying! Oh! That was close! Yeah! He caught the snitch! Gryffindor wins again! Thanks to Harry's skill as a seeker, Gryffindor won the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something fluid and silvery slithered out. It's an invisibility cloak, said Ron. They're very rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Harry read. Use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak, while Ron and Hermione helped to prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry, said Hermione. You can't stay invisible while you cast spells. Filch might see you. With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. What's <laughs> that? Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> I'll catch you, and when I do, you'll regret it. I'll catch you, and when I do, you'll regret it. <laughs> I'll catch you, and when I do, you'll regret it. You are. <laughs> What's going on? Who was that? Someone's got past me. Ugh. 